So this is the disk. So this is extra rotation center. You want to find it. Uh, force is acting like this, acting like this. So force is pushing the disc like that. You see it? So then you are going to push the object in the direction of the force and see that rotation is in which direction. So it is in counterclockwise. If you push it from that point, it's counterclockwise. But of course, you are not going to have a disc in the exam, but you will have a pen instead of this in the exam. You are going to take your pen. And you are going to fix it from the extra rotation. This is extra rotation. Fix your pan from extra rotation. And push from where the force applied. This is the where force is applied. So in which direction my pan is turning now? Counterclockwise. Ha, that is what you have to do. Always take your pan, fix from extra rotation with your finger. This is extra rotation. And push in the direction of the force in the question. And then see that. Pen is rotating clockwise or counterclockwise. If it is clockwise, negative. If it's counterclockwise rotation, it's going to be positive. This is how we are going to get if rotation is clockwise or counterclockwise. I'm going to use this pen in incoming uh, problems, and you are going to see how we use it, okay? And I'm going to call first find direction of uh, rotation is clockwise or counterclockwise. I'm going to use again my uh, uh, pen. I am going to fix uh, the pen from where X rotation is. X rotation is on the left. Then push it down in the direction of F2. When I push it in the direction of F2, can you see that rotation is in which direction? Yeah, it's it is clockwise. Clockwise, yeah. F2 causes a clockwise rotation. So that's why it's, it's going to be negative. Clockwise is negative. What about F1? So fix it from the extra rotation. This is extra rotation. Right side is extra, extra rotation, right? On the right of the force is extra rotation. Push the pan in the direction of F1. So what is the direction of rotation? It's still clockwise. Still clockwise, yes. There are both force, both F1 and F2 causes a clockwise rotation. So which means F1 produces a negative torque. F2 also produces a negative torque. Both of them produces negative torque in here. 